Hey guys, it's two thirds of MVB Gaming here. It's Tom and Kyle. And we're playing Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. Super. Super. For all those super nerds out there. Yeah. So, I've never played this game. Kyle, you've played a lot of Metroid. I've played a lot of Metroid. Uh, yeah. Generally. I still haven't... I've played a lot of Metroid, but I still haven't played the first two games. Well, I've played them. I've never actually completed them. They look so ball-bustingly difficult. Yeah. Fair enough. But... This is the first game I ever played and completed of Metroid. Super Metroid. I made it the first time I needed a guide, but hopefully I don't need a guide this time. Apart from maybe one map of Meridia because Meridia confuses the fuck out of me. But, uh, PAL version. For some reason you can't choose English text. Oh, go let's go German. German. Take, make, take make out Germans. I need to change the controls though because the controls in this confuse the living hell out of me. There we go. Because it's like, the, the classic control and the original Super Nintendo control are like, Compared to the 360 control, which I'm used to using, the A, B, X, and Y buttons like swapped around. Oh, that's weird. It's really weird, so. I'm Who decided on the out. letters? A, B, X, Y. I don't know, but whoever did it stuck. It's like whoever chose the layout for car pedals. Yeah. It's a genius idea. So now we get a bit of exposition on the first two games, basically summing up the story to this point. Uh, shall I read this in Samus's other envoys? <laughs> If you, if you want to. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It oh, was there that Zebus. I foiled the plans yeah, of the space pirates. Ichi leader, Mother Metroids. Brain. <laughs> to use the creek that I can't read. Und iren on furen Mother Brain. So yeah, well now we get like a little quick summary of the first two games using the Super Nintendo graphics. Which is hey well, looks a lot nicer than the NES. I next fought the Metroids on their home world, SR388. I completely eradicated them all. <laughs> wow, it's a, it's a very dark choice of words. It is quite. Well, eh. this isn't exactly Nintendo's lightest series. You see, Nintendo. No. I mean, then again, the big three think Nintendo, Mario, Zelda, Metroid. So you got two ultra happy go lucky than this one, which is like dark and edgy. evil. Uh, oh, yeah. I per personally. So what? So, so, so first Samus is a bounty hunter. Now what is she? FedEx. <laughs> uh. So yeah, basically, quick, quick way of summing this up is, we blew up Mother Brain in the first game, defeated the Metroids apart from one in the second game, and now we're doing stuff in the. And it's recording in color this time. Thank God. Oh. Yeah, this is our second take. because the first time we tried to record it. Like, it didn't record in color. For some we reason. got four hours in and <laughs> then realized. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I completed the game by then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if this was like an eight-hour game, I would have murdered right. someone. I'd just leave it in black and white. And Capsuleception! Capsule in a capsule in a capsule. Satisfied but all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. Speaking of which, throughout the entire Metroid series, we never actually do collect any bounty or do Samus's job. Every, all the work comes from the Galactic Federation. She might as well have like a name tag. I'm going to say, hello, my name is Samus. <laughs> Music stop. <gasps> Drama. Getting serious. Sarah's station was under attack. Millennium <laughs> Falcon and rocks in space. <laughs> space noise. Space, space colony. Forschung station. Forschung station. I apologize for any German viewers out there. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't because now they can understand. <laughs> Very true. So yeah, now I actually get first of the gameplay. And one thing that's always quite jarring about Metroid games is you lose all your upgrades from the previous game. God knows what happened to them. I don't know. Maybe it's like how a, when, when, when you grow a beard and you shave it off, maybe that's the equivalent of Samus and the power-ups. <laughs> it, it becomes a pain a in the ass. It's a strange analogy. <gasps> the capsule's gone. They're all dead. There's dead people. <gasps> I see dead people. I'm just clarify, I'm not doing a 100% run or a speed run, I'm just going to be completing the game. Just playing it. Because that's what's fun to me. So... Aww. Aww, a little bit Metroid. A little Metroid. So I can just grab it and leave. Grab it and leave. Grab it and leave. Grab it and leave. The game no. is finished. <laughs> that was the shortest game. What is that just, carrot in the sky? Uh, ah! Deadly! But, but... But we killed him in the first game. You're dead. Just... What are you doing? Come back. Ah. So no. this is... Uh, this is a, um, a book that I must, you, you have to die at this. So the most you can actually do to Ridley is you can make him drop the capsule, which I've never done. I'll Why? try and do it now, I guess, but... 
It's a, you have to lose. Basically, it'll, it'll like fly away once you get under 30 units of health. Health represented by the energy. If you've got enough got like a carrot for an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Ooh! Ooh. Who's it restarted? <laughs> self destruct sequence activated. Does anywhere have a self destruct sequence anymore? Like, I don't why know. would you build one in, really? Because drama. They're like really unnecessary if you didn't. <laughs> because drama. <laughs> you just bring in some external explosives so something like this wouldn't happen. It looks like these pieces of steam don't actually do damage and just sort of throw you See, this is the one thing I despise about games is when you're timed. Oh, uh, you get even plenty of time in this. You give it a minute and it takes you about 30 seconds. Well, then it's pointless. Unless you're playing a ROM hack, which is like Me Super Metroid Hard Edition, which, because of the 30 seconds, it actually makes it somewhat of a challenge. Oh, God. Ow! No. I think this is the longest I've ever taken. I'm only on there by 37 seconds. I was playing Metroid Hard Edition, I probably would have lost. Oh, no. You're given plenty of time for it, so it's not that bad, although that's like the first of many self-destruct sequences in the Metroid series. There's at least one in every game. So what, did someone power bomb it? Because that's the exact same as the power bomb animation. <laughs> Planet Zebes. 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 What's that in German? I have no idea. That's English. It's... I know, but they didn't give us a German subtitle for that. That's odd, because they give it in French. It's weird. <laughs> Yeah, I'm also playing this on the virtual console as well because unfortunately I don't own an SNES. Cough, Caleb. He owns an SNES. Well, I know you used to have one, I think. Oh, I think his dad sold it. Boo. Boo, parents. So, yeah. so, what do they do? They dump us on Planet Zebes and tell us to fuck off. Because <laughs> now we don't get told where to go or what to do. Unless you play the game plenty of times, in which case you know exactly what to do. And it's raining as well. Music is very well. The, the atmosphere of the set here is fantastic. It's all spooky music. Nothing here. All the creatures run away as soon as you enter. Really good way of setting out that you're alone on this planet. But if you play this game as many times, then it's, it's this is this is just like a, a walk in the park. This one's run away. This, one, this, this, this one's got nerves of steel. <laughs> this one doesn't give a fuck. That guy's probably the school bully. And anyone who's played the first game will recognize this place. This is Torian, which is what got, which looks in pretty damn good condition considering it got blown up in the first game. And you'll realize this is where, this is where Mother Brain was, if you remember the opening cutscene. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it's all blown up. Oh, Mother Brain. What is Mother Brain? Explain. Mother Brain, Mother Brain is essentially the, um, Telepathic control over the Metroids and the Space Pirates. Ah. Uh, space Pirates. Space, Mother Brain and the Space Pirates. It sounds like an intergalactic. It does rock sound band. like a band, yeah. <laughs> Mother Brain and the oh, Space Mother Pirates. Mother Brain and the Space Pirates. <laughs> Are you ready to rock? <laughs> but now we get the Morph Ball, which is in the exact same place it was in the first game. Oh, no, it's the Morphing Ball. I'm sorry. Uh, that music. Oh, that. That, that, that jingle is my text tone. <gasps> Being watched. <gasps> now, you meant to go straight back up there, but I want to get a missile up there. We need to get the missiles first. Because with missiles, you pr pr missiles are pretty much your, like, your one-way one -way ticket to everything. It's like, each, you got the different colored doors throughout the game. Like the blue ones, you can just open with your beam, like that. Red ones require three, no, five missiles. Missiles. Um, green doors require a super missile, and orange doors require a power bomb. So it's kind of overkill if you're gonna open yeah. a door with a power bomb. Like this huge explosion, just open a door. So now we have the missiles. We could go back up to uh, Criteria and get the Morph Ball, but I want to get a missile expansion real quick. It's also what it's it's definitely the most common. Oh god. The most common thing you'll run into is the missile expansion. But, five missiles, held the missile, boom. Something pretty cool. That we're, we're, now, we're going to be seeing this area a little bit later in the game. Don't know why. Go to stand here, shoot up. There's an energy tank there that we can't get to yet because we can't jump high enough. So, we're coming back to this room later. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> and uh, if I had the power bombs, then. This block here, I could probably power bomb and then go up there. 
And there's a big another missile tank up there, I don't know. Yeah, you, there's a lot of missile tanks. You'll find yourself going through hell just to get a missile upgrade sometimes. Kind of underwhelming. So, like, like, you have no idea why you're actually here right now? Well, you have a very basic idea when you get a game over. Like, the, the only objective you're actually given is... Ooh, the face is looking at me. The only actual, like, objective you get is find the Metroid Lava, and that's find it. Find the Metroid Lava. That's all you're given. Nothing else. It's vague. It's very... But that's what makes Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> Space Pirates are here. Yeah, it's Cypher. Cypher. <laughs> Although, I, I never noticed that until you told me, like, oh, it's now. It does, it looks like. <laughs> you, well, when we run into the um, missile, uh, the ones we have to shoot the missiles at later, then that'll play that joke up even more in, a, in about five minutes or so. But yeah, these this particular variety of space pirates, uh, I think these are the ones that didn't quite past Space Pirate School because they go down with one shot of the weakest weapon in the game. This is another thing, pretty much every enemy explodes upon death. Because that's what happens in real life. People explode when they get shot. And then <laughs> well, there's if no... Shot, if they get shot with a rocket launcher. There's no trace of the remains as well. Apart from maybe a missile or a purple orb of glowing energy. <laughs> Unless Samus has full energy missiles in which case. There, there you go. That's all, oh God. That's all the remains of people now in the future is a little purple orb in their place. For God's sake. I'm not the best platforming in this game. I mean, when you do the straight jump like that, it makes platforming a lot easier. But when you, oh God. When you do a spin jump though, it makes it a lot more finicky because it's a lot harder to control your direction in midair, but there's nothing I'm gonna lose hair over. Huh, look how much energy we have. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Lol. It's funny because it's a sex joke. And it's immature. Overground, underground. One million three. If I, if, I, if I end up drawing a blank and not saying anything, it's because I'm not the best at talking and playing games at the same time. Cheek bats! Ugh. Yeah! So, if I find the Is that yeah. platypus? <laughs> platypus. I don't know, but these enemies you can never kill. Is that a platypus? They serve as platforms when you get the ice beam and nothing else! <laughs> Whoa. Right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up this door, which will lead to the moth balls. But before we go in there, I mean the moth ball bombs, we're gonna get some more missiles because there is a Chozo boss through that door, which are probably the easiest bosses in the game, but it makes them even more of a joke if you have full missiles. So let's go back on here. Hey, these things are Chozo statues. Basically, the Chozo are like the race of beings that pretty much. I think they're extinct at this point, but they pretty much gave Samus the power suit, and they also pretty much adopted her when her parents were killed by Ridley. Right in front of the face. Right so the face. why in Prime 1 the, the ghosts of them attack us, and why this one attacks us here, I'll never know. Yeah. But... Why? Huh? It's a fish with a body. Uh. But yeah, this boss is a complete joke. Oh no, it's got a beak. Oh, it doesn't have a head. Yeah. Total joke. Nah, that was fun. That was a boss. <laughs> we bossed it. Hey, oh! <laughs> Loads of flying purple things. Flying purple mysterious things. <gasps> so, have you ever actually played anything that's Metro related? At all? Possibly some form of game on my R4 card on my DS that was like bundled with it. So that's uh, DS, that's probably Metroid Prime Hunters. Or Metroid I have Prime no idea, I played it for like five minutes. Or Metroid Prime Pinball. But otherwise I've not, I don't really know anything about Apart from maybe playing the series of Metroid. Maybe <laughs> not even done that. What? Play as Samus in that. In uh, Smash Brothers. How's the iPod? What? How's the iPod? It's my iPod's broken. Uh, it doesn't record um, sound anymore. The mic's broken. The speaker works. Huh. That sucks. Anyway, we got our first energy tank. Energy tanks. They give us a purple block. So innovative. Tom, Cyphers. 
Cypher. Oh, this is greener, yeah. These are like Cyphers. The other ones that look like they've been underground too long. <laughs> well, they've been in the mines. Yeah. Well, in Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime One, they do you do find space pirates in the phase on mines. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this door here, we won't be seeing that door, but we'll be going through that door till the end of the game. Why not? Because that goes to the final area. Therefore, we don't need to go there yet. These serve no purpose, apart from in Met oh god. Apart from in Metroid Fusion, where they become platforms. It's weird, it's not many games where you get so close to, where you have to repeat areas. Yeah, the one thing about Metroid that puts some people off, but if you don't mind it, is there's a lot of backtracking. Yeah. That probably, that probably put me off a bit.